finds the one general principle, general truth that I can find is this. When the nations venture out to form a nation with the fear of God and wanted to please God and use the word of God correctly, I can see prosperity in that land. It happens in Europe, it happens in America, but when the, the people begin to be complacent and become inward looking, selfish, and emphasize of individualism in the expense of the community, and you can see the nation began to drop and become less effective. I won't mention the name of the nations. I was in the country and then this particular classmate of mine offered to take me back uh, to the city, the big city, in order to catch a flight back to Malaysia. And as we were driving, she was a very, she was from a Salvation Army. And you know the history of Salvation Army and the Methodist Church are very close linked. They came out of the Methodist Church because they they emphasized a lot on helping the people on the streets and everywhere. The social ministry work was very important to them. Um, and so uh, she was an officer, a captain, and she drove the car. And she passed by some towns, and it was on Sunday, and I realized that many of the shops were open. And she saw all of a sudden, uh, was quite sad. When I asked the question, why uh, are all these shops open on Sunday? Because I realized in Malibu, Malaysia, some shops are closed on Sunday. She said yes. And she said, Ricky, do you know that in one time, at one time of the history of our, our nation, on Sunday, people close their business and go to church as top priority. The attendance of uh, church worshippers were full, well attended. But today, today, people have forgotten God. And when the church is hardly any people, very beautiful cathedral. There was a pride of the people, but now it's empty. And some were converted to be uh, pubs, restaurants. And uh, she says, she's a very faithful Christian. I thank God for her witness. And her husband, well, both are captains of the Salvation Army, and lovely children that they have that they have brought up to fear God and to love God and to put God first. And she cried for her nations that he has drifted away from God. Friends, there was a story of a young man who went to see, uh, to find a job and one day he came to this logging company and asked for a job. The foreman asked him if he could fell a tree with an axe. The young man walked over to a tree and without much effort, he fell the tree like a pro. And the foreman hired him immediately. On Monday, the young man outdo everyone else on the crew. But each day after that, he got slower and slower until on Friday, he could barely cut down one tree, one tree down on that day. He went through all the motions, swinging an axe, doing very professionally, hitting the tree, repeating it, but it just didn't work very well. And finally, the young man laid down his axe, sat on the ground, exhausted, and wondered what was really wrong. The foreman, was very experienced, came over and told the young man that he